Now, hello, first years. Um, hope you're all okay at home. Now, we're starting a new chapter today, guys, so um, it's very, very important. I thought it very, very important for me to do this lesson online. Um, it won't be too long, but please stick with me, guys, for this, and you might have to follow up on a little bit of work in your um, copies. So the chapter we're on is called the Renaissance, as you can see on the main page there. Now, Renaissance means rebirth. So it's a time where um, great things started to happen in the earth. If you remember the last chapter we did was called the Middle Ages, but the Middle Ages were also called the Dark Ages because not much happened. There was lots of debt. I think when people think of the Middle Ages, they think of the Black Debt. The Renaissance is a different time. The Renaissance is an exciting time. It's a time really when you had a development, particularly in art, which we're going to be looking at. And if you look at the main slide there, guys, you'll see um, where I'm pointing at now is probably the most famous um, painting in the world. Some of you will know it already before you can say the name. It's um, Mona Lisa. Um, have a look at the picture and see. Some of you might know why. It's actually not a big picture. It's probably only the size of your copies. But it's, um, it's the most well-known painting in the world. And the reason it's the most famous painting in the world is people think that she's looking at you no matter where you are in the room. And also some people see a smile, some people see a frown. She's also missing eyebrows and eyelashes as well. Um, down here, so that's from Leonardo. Down here we have Michelangelo, a uh, sculptor, Michelangelo's David. And he was a very famous um, sculptor. Okay, guys, so carrying on from um, there. Yeah. Particularly the boys in the class, but some of you will know who these guys are, and I probably have heard of them before. The Turtles or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, some of you growing up might have watched them, but mightn't know where their name actually comes from. Now, um, the Turtles, um, there's four of them. Sorry, I'm going past it there. The Turtles, there's four of them, but they're all actually named after the most famous Renaissance painters. So the guy in the orange is called Michelangelo, Leonardo in the middle, Raphael, and Donatello. There are four really, really famous um, Renaissance painters and sculptors from um, the Renaissance. Now, their clue might be in their name, but all the Renaissance actually started in one country. And that country was the same country where the Romans are from, which is Italy. Um, now, guys, I might get to just take out your notes copies. Now, I know I have your exercise copies in class, guys. Um, there's nothing I could do about that. We got very short notice that school was closing. So, any questions i do get you to do guys maybe do them at the back of your notes copy for the time being i know it's not ideal but there's nothing we can do i can't give you back your exercise copies till we're back in school so just put the heading guys um you'll see it up there in red the renaissance into your notes copies on a new page now leave the page blank and that will tie into something that we've done before guys um which you probably have an idea um actually what it is so just write the heading renaissance and then those over your copy and just focus back in the um, video guys so the word renaissance means rebirth as i said this period in history is called renaissance because it was almost as if the greeks and romans had come back to life so it's a time of great great um change now a little bit about the renaissance it started around 1480 so we're getting closer and closer to modern times now guys so the middle ages is gone that's happened we're a couple of hundred years away from the black death happening and people have begun to change the way they thought about the world. During the Renaissance, people began to look at the world differently and became interested in what had happened in the past and the great periods in the past. And the Renaissance essentially it marks, you can see the bit at the bottom, guys, in bold is really, really key. The Renaissance marks the beginning of the modern world. So the start of the modern world. Now, a new term to us here, guys, is called humanism. Um, the picture on the right-hand side is from Leonardo da Vinci, who's the greatest mind ever to live. Most people know him as an artist from the Mona Lisa, but he did so, so much um, more. But humanism puts humans at the centre, at the centre of everything. So people in the Renaissance um, started to think that humans are the most important. And it's more important about how life is here rather than what happens after you die. In the Middle Ages, all anybody cared about was where they were going when they died. So they went to Mass every day, they prayed non-stop, that wasn't the case in the Renaissance. They were more interested in experiencing life here and understanding why we're here, essentially. Okay, guys. So a few points um, that I, we're going to focus on here is why the Renaissance started in Italy. Okay. But before I do that, guys, so the Renaissance really focuses mainly on um, art. So to give you an example here, guys, um, we'll just spend a minute or two looking at these two pictures. So the picture on the left-hand side, I'll make it a little bit bigger on the screen for you. 
picture on the left hand side is from the Middle Ages, and the painting on the right hand side is from the Renaissance. Now I want you to think straight off which one caught your attention straight off. Now, also, I'm going to leave this up for about a minute, guys. Um, I also want you to think, what differences do you notice? So what differences do you notice in the picture on the right compared to the picture on the left? And see if you can come up with maybe three or four different um, reasons. Pay a particular focus, guys, with um, the baby. Do you notice a difference in the baby? Do you notice a difference in the colors, etc., etc.? Um, you've probably heard the term before guys 3D you might have an idea what it means one of these paintings has 3D or perspective to give it its proper term the other picture doesn't so which one gives 3D and how did it manage to do that we'll be doing a little bit more on that anyway as we progress through this um, topic guys so um, coming back so guys why did the Renaissance start in Italy now I want you to keep a page blank you should have put in your heading the Renaissance already into your notes copies guys Leave that page blank and go on to the next page. And we're also going to open up our books for this. So I have um, the same page here open up in our books. Give me a second to open it up. So this is page 97 in our books, guys, um, this chapter. So um, a good idea to spend a minute or two reading this um, orange box up here, guys. So what the Renaissance was and why it's important on page 97. But we're going to move on a little bit now to our next task. Um, the causes of the Renaissance. Now, essentially, why did the Renaissance start in Italy? Now, what I want you to do, guys, is so you put in the heading, why did the Renaissance start in Italy, on the new page in your exercise copy. If you look down here, you'll see number one, the ruins of the Roman Empire. Number two, the fall of Constantinople. Number three, wealth from trade, new ideas from trade. Number four, competition for Italian city-states and patrons, which is a key word. I want you to write down the bit that's in bold for each one, guys, but also write one sentence. Now, you don't have to write it all out. One sentence on each. So, for example, the ruins of Rome. So, all you have to say is that Italy was the center of the Roman Empire and people were inspired by Rome. That's enough. And I want you to do the same for each one, guys. Okay, so write the bit in bold. So, well, for example, the fall of Constantinople, and you just tell me in one sentence what does that mean. Patron over here, guys, is a really, really key word. So make sure that you understand what that means, a patron. Okay. All right, guys, that will take you a few minutes. You can pause the video. Or you know, actually, you can stop the video. This is the last bit that I'm going to be saying on this. So if you can write those six into your copies, guys, and um, one sentence about each, then what I want you to do after you've done that, guys, you can consider that your classwork, essentially. Then what I want you to do on the other page in your copy that you've kept blank. So you have the heading, the Renaissance. I want you to um, either print off and put in a picture that's connected to the Renaissance or draw a picture connected to the Renaissance. So we've done it for other chapters in our copy. So I want you to create an entrance page, essentially, in your notes copy for the start of this chapter on the Renaissance. Okay, guys, any questions on anything that you're not sure of, just send me an email, okay? Uh, my email will be up on the calendar. And keep on watching the calendar each day, guys, for any questions, okay? Speak to you soon, guys.